My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round four of the Las Vegas Open, a.k.a. the Fly Better Open. <laughs> I am joined by William Hagwood. Hello, everyone out there in Internet land. Wonderful to have you join us here. And we have Brian Lindemood versus Jeff Keck. Uh, we got some scum and Republic. It's our first Republic list of the I know, weekend. I am so excited to get a Republic list out here. That's right. And I think our first scum list of the day, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, now, Brian, uh, famous in, in our chat as B. Linda Mood. He's one of our founder subscribers uh, and made famous by, you'll see it here for the first time, the Bobble <laughs> Ships. There it is. Look at them. Look at them wiggle. 75 <laughs> minutes of wiggle waggle for you. Enjoy it. Get your screenshots. Make your gifts. They're coming. All right, we're going to go ahead and break down these lists. And, of course, as we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and choose your champion. The last round of choose your champion, a 30% up, uh, upset, 30 70% uh, to 30% to 30% uh, underdog getting it, but uh, we'll see what happens in this round. Take it, Will. All right, let's start with Jeff Keck here, uh, representing the Galactic Republic, starting off with a squad of beefy. I don't know why I just did there, Dion. Why is it freaking out? That's not good. All right, I'll figure it out. Okay, while you're doing that, uh, I will talk about the 104th Battalion pilots. So we got three of them. Uh, they are the ARC 170s, nine health, three attack out the front, two out the rear, and one of them has synchronized console. So synchronized console able to, instead of spending your lock on your attack, you can actually uh, give it to a friendly and in this instance it's going to be a friendly at range one because there's no other ships with the console or synchronized console equipped so uh, yellow or excuse me this is more of a orange orange is gonna uh, have the potential to be almost a support piece with that upgrade a uh, great little dip into the uh, what do I want to say uh, deficit scoring normally, uh, yep. 100 percent. That would have been a one-point bid for Obi Wan. Yep. Four, right? Yep, for but sure. Now we can uh, utilize some some new upgrades. Let's pull up uh, Obi Wan here as well in the uh, Aether Sprite. He does have the amazing ability to spend a Force to gain a Focus token after you spend one. So basically. Every force, as long as you have a focus token, converts all eyeballs. What's the best part about the ability is that it works not only for yourself, but at range zero to two uh, of four other friendlies. So, uh, in the potential that these arcs need to spend their focuses defensively, defensively, they'll still have a modifier for offense utilizing Obi Wan as well. In addition to that. He does have the 7B configuration. It's going to change his stat line. So it's a three attack out the front, two agility, three hull, and three shields. Uh, giving him the extra boost in shields for, and attack power uh, at the cost of agility. And then the last upgrade I want to talk about here is a battle meditation. So uh, battle meditation is a Republic Force talent uh, saying that you cannot coordinate limited ships. It does give you that purple coordinate action. But it says, while you perform a purple coordinate action, you may coordinate one additional friendly non-limited ship of the same type. Both ships must perform the same action. So what this is going to allow Obi-Wan to do is uh, begin the game as almost a support piece while mm -hmm. these chunky line troops uh, take the brunt of the attacks and they get in there and do as much damage as they can with those three uh, dice front guns Hopefully getting focus and lock from uh, Obi-Wan there plus it's at initiative five as well So easy to lock onto Bosk and a couple of the ships 
All right, so no, avoiding the debris there with Tel Travera. Ooh, yeah, that's a skinny lane Tel's going to find there. Uh, speaking of Tel, uh, Brian is flying the scum and villainy. Starts off with Fen Rao in the Fang Fighter with Predator. Fen Rao loves being ranged one. Not only does he get to roll extra dice, but he gets those free evades from Concordia. Mm -hmm. We also have Bosk, the mean machine himself with Marksmanship, Jammin' Beam, Greedo, Dead Man Switch, and Houndstooth. Uh, Marksmanship and Greedo both giving the crit modifications because with Boss can deliver a crit past the neutralized result step, he can split it into two hits. Essentially means every crit is a direct hit, even when it hits on shield. Seems pretty good. Yeah, very good. Now, Greedo does come with its own drawbacks, where if Boss can't utilize that Greedo charge to convert a hit to a crit, anybody shooting back on him can convert a hit to a crit as well now that is a that is a may just to note rules wise it is a may so sometimes players do end up missing that you can use boss uh, excuse me greedo's ability against boss watch out for obi one kenobi shooting into uh into boss um, at a higher I have, initiative i have faith that he would let them know at least once or twice right uh I mean, sometimes not, it's not even a, it's not even to let you know if you don't if you don't remember yeah, that your opponent can use it. That's fair. That's fair. So we saw a fine tune controls bear roll and then a battle meditation. So both of those arcs can take locks there. Uh, as a note here as well, we do have Tel Tavera uh, with uh, Cutthroat to regain Tel's charge. When Tel dies, Tel gets to instead go into reserves and spawns back at the next planning phase with four damage cards mm -hmm. normally or excuse me i believe it's five damage cards excuse me so normally that would only leave you with one hole with hull upgrades you're not going to come back with two health you have contraband cybernetics to make up for uh the awkward reds in the jump master's dial and punishing one to get the three dice when the arc uh, the turret arc mm -hmm. is out the front so well it looks like we're gonna have engagement here here's our first shot yep. fenrau Looking at that first arc 170, and that's going to be a damage on the blue one to get us started. Yeah. I know I like to have them in order if you want to drop down that console one to the bottom. Because blue, blue is on top, orange is on bottom. All right, next attack coming in here. Obi-Wan Kenobi looking at boss three hits. All right, we'll have reinforced trigger right here, so that's going to end up being two damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, greater crit doesn't mean a lot there with boss still having shields, so mm -hmm. no big deal. And now we'll have Scum and Villainy get their opportunity here at initiative four. Looks like we're going to go with Tel Travera first, two hits, take the reroll. That's uh, with. The target lock and gets a squiggle there. That's one damage on blue. Yeah, blue, pretty chunky. Here. That's right. Now this this is a tough decision, I think. Oh, going for the marksmanship onto the arc. So it's going to be probably the Greedo. Crit, yeah, I would crit, imagine. Crit. Yep, flips the Greedo charge. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, so two crits here, guaranteed to do two damage. And does two damage. Yep, splits it. And that's going into the orange. Yeah, a little bit of split fire there from uh, Linda Mood, um, but wanted to take advantage of the marksmanship in that situation. Uh, for anybody who's looking for the uh, the colors, it's uh, it's a little subtle. It's on the bases. Look at those bases. You'll see some different tones there. All right, hit, hit, crit. Looking at boss in this opening, got the squiggle. Ooh, just one shield with the reinforce. Click, reinforce, doing nice. the work. Nice. Shields are down on boss, though. Next shot from the arc 170s. One hit. Double focus. Spend for three. And reinforce will trigger. That's going to be another two damage. That's going to be half. Oh, no, we're one away from half. You don't bring dead man switch in the pup if you expect to survive, Dion. <laughs> Came out here to swing the batter. And wow. Jeff has been perfect. Woo. On these ARC 170s, so three good. hits, and that's another uh, not evade result. So that's going to be 
four damage cards, down to five total hold them. So let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about that Hound's Tooth title and Nash the Pup. How does that work? So, uh, the Pup itself is technically Bosk. Let's see if it pulls up the card correctly or not. Sometimes it doesn't like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it works perfectly. So, the Pup can only deploy via emergency uh, deployment. So, when Bosk is destroyed, uh, and it is Bosk... Uh, as far as the same initiative, pilot skill, and any charges remaining. Uh, that would be more for uh, Moralo of all. Right. But uh, what's interesting about the uh, emergency deployment, so if Obi-Wan kills you and Bosk hasn't engaged yet, mm -hmm. the Pope would be able to deploy and shoot at initiative four. Yes. Uh, then if, obviously, a, if a two kills him, the pup can't attack then. Yeah, the, the opportunity is gone. What's, uh, what's really great, though, is the combination of Cutthroat with the pup, because that actually is two different triggers of Cutthroat. When the YV-666 is destroyed, that's okay. a Cutthroat trigger, and when the pup is destroyed, that's another trigger for Cutthroat. Does damage... Uh, does the dead man switch damage the Nash top pup on the way out? How's, I believe how you get to choose the order. I'm gonna see if I can get some. No. All right. Let, let's let's well, let's read. What does it say? After you are destroyed. So destroyed means when your cards equal to the uh to the ones on the on uh, your whole your whole uh total. I, I believe you can you can choose the order there choose, yeah uh and also great uh thank you for reminding me the emergency deployment will do a damage to that z95 mm -hmm. so you could just take a shield off of it right now Yeah, okay. I mean, D, D's right there at the table, so... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but... When destroyed. Deployments happens after destroyed. Okay. When versus after. I mean, it makes sense to me. I guess not really, though, because... Thematically, it makes sense, right? Right. Like, you'd leave the carcass of your ship behind, and it would just explode all crazily, mm. right? Underutilized upgrade. Love the little <laughs> pup. Five points for a ship? Well, you're also paying for the Hound's Tooth upgrade. I'd be bringing Bosk anyways. <laughs> He's a thick boy. What's a little, what's a little more? Uh, it's just like some funny stuff that you can do because you can deploy out the front or back. Mm -hmm. uh, like a sneaky ace or something coming in to try to, you know, arc dodging you and then get the kill. You can uh, normally K-turn uh, out of deployment and get a shot on the ship that killed you. So uh, pretty impactful. Plus, uh, that Z95 still has box ability, and this one even has a dead man switch too. That's right. It's coming out, coming out running and gunning. So these Arc 170s just taking a one straight and a focus, keeping it simple. Anticipating some bumps here. Mm -hmm. And I mean, with the back gun on the ARC 170 as well, uh, it makes it so that, you know, even if Boss goes fast enough to jump over, mm -hmm. they're still going to have shots. Yeah, plus you have the, the beautiful 4Ks lined up right mm -hmm. back here. So then they can. Oh, I didn't finish building this box, but. Yep, and then they come in and engage these guys as they come around here. So. Uh, it's tough to hold steady like that, right? Where you're setting up a suboptimal shot, um, but for the advantage later on in the match. So we see this, uh, I believe a three bank. They don't have a hard three, so it must be a three bank. Yep, or something. three bank to the left. Clears. And clears the mustache rock. Oh, it's a hard two, excuse me. I'm not a fan of the mustache rock. There's a target lock. Aggressive tell play here. Love to see it. He's, getting, he's trying to draw some heat off of Boba, I think. Uh, you mean Bosk? Sorry, yeah, that one. <laughs> the other one. Too. The other, the other bounty hunter in charge. Uh, I mean, and I feel like the the book of Boskafet. 
All right. Uh, I, I really like this uh, flank by Fen Rao here as well. Oh, With is, mood. is this going to bump it to Obi-Wan? You really want an action right here. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's got wiggle, it. Wiggle, okay. Boing, oing, 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 oing. Yep, so still in two rear arcs here. Has the ability to reinforce the back, of course. Yep, so. Potentially only taking four damage then. If uh, they roll, you know, three and three, he blocks two. And where's Obi-Wan going? It's hard turning, huh? He's coming. He... He's going, going away from boss, maybe going towards Fenral. That, that's, that's a little <laughs> scary. <laughs> Don't. No, no he's, he's going away. He's, he's going away. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, maybe Fen not Fenron's got the gas, though. He can go f he fi five straight. I know. I noticed that uh, he did not link when he boosts to keep that dial open. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Very smart. He's got. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Five straight bo boost focus. Catch Obi Wan sleeping, maybe. Or uh, come in and finish off this uh, arc that's wounded before it gets to fire. You do have to consider the dead man switch as well for friendly fire. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't hang out around Bosk as much. That's true. Well, it depends on how Brian feels. You know, he's got that Bosk already down to five hole. He's boosting so boost, with fine tuned controls, I think. Yeah, boost out of arc. I think that was just his regular action. He's just trying to recover up some force. He did get, uh, he did drop all three force in uh, the previous round. All right, looks like Fenrir is deciding to get aggressive. Be, be aggressive. He's like, why, why don't I just go kill an Arc 170? I mean, that's a way to do it. <laughs> Nano Antonio, now all I need is to see a bobble ghost. <laughs> I think the most interesting ghost mounting I saw was Kevin ID and Nathan and Kevin ID's. Uh, but it was like a oh, giant super ball forced one. Yeah, yeah, it was like a giant ball bearing with this crazy magnet, and you could hold it upside down. Mm -hmm. Okay, Finrau comes in for some range one attacks here with uh, Tell to try to finish off uh, this hurt arc. Does have seven hull remaining, uh, but they do have nine dice to throw at it here. Might not have. Predator. This is what D here mm -hmm. is beautiful. Checking suit. out. It's clear. It's close. Bullseye. Oh, hot mm -hmm. money. Yeah, he's spending it. It's it all down. day. I'm not going to hesitate on that. And he's looking for a blank. He got it. Oh, man. All five, huh? All five. That leaves him down at two hole. Right. Yeah. If and with tell, get, tell to clean it up. Tell with the target lock should be able to get three, right? That's the math. Get that, two, re-roll the other two into a third. That's all you're looking for. All right, there you go. You're halfway there. This is what we're talking about. Let's halfway there. Looking for some paint. Got it. That is the third. Goodbye. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And with that, you remember the Concordia face-off doesn't work out of the back arc of the Arc 170s. It's a front arc only. Uh, so you just save Fenral from a shot. At the cost of, I guess, Bosk, but you're you're, you're trading right now 42-43. Sorry, excuse be, me, 42-33. I think it's going to be difficult for uh, Jeff to kill boss. No, I don't think the the arc at an angle there, the 45-degree angle. That one angle doesn't have has, a shot. Now it's just one. Like, I was thinking this could be a turn where boss goes down, but now that has completely changed with only a single one, range one. It doesn't mean anything because the reinforce. Yep. Re re reinforce says. Well, I guess it does mean still, something because he could have rolled. He could have rolled the natural of it. So. Right. Uh, so yeah, this is this is going to be tough now. Uh, Obi Wan can fight Fen Rao, honestly. Uh, Fen Rao doesn't like to K turn as much. Doesn't like to trade range twos. Mm -hmm. Obi Wan has constant modification, right? So, it's not like he's out. The hotel is so chunky, though. My thick boy. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to be around for a while, for sure. And uh, a, a missed, uh, missed Greedo trigger 
by by Jeff. Oh yeah, that's just a bit of crit. Mm hmm We know we know those uh I will say, Jeff. Jeff did casually mention if you're watching this back, Jeff, you uh, you you uh I heard you say, well, Oh you, oh, you got a bunch of upgrades over there. I'll figure them out later. That's not the. That's not what you should do, Jeff. Oh man! If, if, take a moment. Take a moment just to just to get a, a brief overview of those cards, even if it's a faction you're not not normally, familiar with. Yeah, you don't normally play or play against. Mm -hmm. I think you know one of the recommend one of the recommendations that we have for a lot of X-wing players that are just getting into it is like, hey, just you don't have to buy every faction. Just one faction is fine. Um, but you gotta be you gotta have some familiarity with all the factions if you're gonna be playing playing competitive and i think at, at this point uh greedo i know that maybe maybe they haven't played in person for a long time mm -hmm. jeff mm -hmm. um but greedo on the, on this boss has been a thing for like the uh, last stable, year, last dog, last yeah. almost year and a half Bosk has been uh, been a part of the meta, and um, yeah. we, we got to start remembering the other side of Greedo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, wh where do you think Bosk is going to be going? We're going to chase chase after uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Hard three there's, all day. Let's see. So there's right there's one, two, three, four, five. So I assume the last rock's right here. I guess so. But uh, yeah, yeah. Turn in behind Obi Wan. Try to get some, put some pressure on him. Because honestly, Finn Rao could probably clean up these arcs. Now that there's only two. So the priority is on Obi Wan right now. And here's those K-turns you were talking about. Game Blue Tuba, you should try him on Dengar or Han Solo. Those I-6s. Alright, here's the hard two coming in. Get some arc coverage here. I like that. It covers a, a really fast move from Finn Rao, right? No, that, that, that two bank to the right looks tasty for for Finn. Okay. Boss trying to separate himself now. Yeah, there's that rock. That's why we couldn't go the other way. Ooh, now we Would have been close. Would have been close. <laughs> Could you show the back of Greedo? There is no back of Greedo. It's no, just it's the, front. the second ability. You can pull up the card. You can pull up though. the card, yeah. So, the first part is about spending the token, okay? And it says, while you defend, if your charge is active, the attacker may change one hit result to a critical result. So, a lot of people think that the attacker spends the charge. But that's uh, that's not how that works. Only the ship with Greedo can spin the charge. It's it is the only ability like it mm -hmm. in the game where you're paying attention to the status. I guess you know what you know the other ones that's kind of like that uh, wolf. Wolf is kind of similar. Uh, yes, but, yes. Because the charge means something when it's active and not active. Right, right. But for... It's the only one where it's... For the opponent, like back and forth, it's it has a, a, a positive ability there. It's almost like a condition card. Mm, yeah, that's true. I know. It, it is... There, there is some beauty in it. Uh, the the charge-based mechanics have really affected the the game design mm -hmm. and uh, really have created some interesting uh, positions here it looks like they they had moved the corner drop but now it's now it's back in the corner no little boop floating obstacles i would tell you if you're afraid of floating obstacles in your matchup one thing uh a lot of players do take uh some painter's tape and put it on the back of the obstacle
Stress on Finn. He cleared it, I'm pretty sure. He was stressed last round. He was stressed last round. Finn cannot take an action. What was the what was the maneuver? Well, we'll see if he spends the focus token first, then we'll double check. That was, oh, because there was a three bank, yeah. Um, Brian did a three bank with Fen Rao, and it should, he sh Fen should not have been able to do a barrel roll focus here. Just, yeah, just double check. Because he was, he was stressed the turn before. Yeah, double check if he was stressed the turn before is all. And he executed a three bank. Or was it a two bank? That's okay. That's just right over like it's a big mm -hmm. emergency or something. We'll see. Thank you though, chat. Or maybe it was a two bank and he, he used a three bank template accidentally. Okay. Okay, they're getting it corrected. Yeah, they're getting it. They got it. The stress disappeared. Okay, so that's why. It got cleared off with a focus token or something like mm -hmm. that. That's it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So they they might uh, they might change the attack. We'll see. So what's the resolution? I think Fen ends up damaged for two. Yeah. So the predator or one. Uh, I think they're going to redo Finn's defensive role. Okay, so Finn, uh, instead of spending the focus, he uh, used Predator and rerolled into a blank. Mm -hmm. So Obi Wan is safe. Uh, the tell shot at. The uh, orange arc and did a panicked pilot to him, so it should have Panic. one one damage card on orange arc. And then we're gonna have a uh, purple arc here. And you got a hit crit. So, yeah. Oh, hold a blank out the there for tell. Oh, I'm Bosk. sorry for boss. Excuse me from downtown, and that looked like a direct, direct hit. We just took three more damage. Seven. Okay. It's down to one? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This is gonna, this range three shot is gonna matter. Not being able to barrel roll the previous turn. Oh, that's gonna be range two. That means Vanderbilt would have been in range for a shot last round. Anyway, if with the barrel roll anyway. Single hit, and Fenral still takes a damage. So that's going to be two on Fenral then. Half points. Yeah, without that focus for defense. Yeah, there. I will say there was a... Uh, um, Linda Mood uh, was visibly confused mm -hmm. after learning uh, the, the correct board state. Yeah. So I, I do think it was uh, uh, just... To a, token got cleared accidentally. Right. And, it's like, well, you, you do the best of what you can. That's 
It'll be okay. I do think this this is a game um, at this point uh, for Obi Wan to lose. He's back up to full force now. Bosk is in a tough decision. You cannot really. Oh, I guess you could hard two or hard three, excuse me, and maybe try to deploy on this obstacle. Like, deploy off of it, right? <laughs> and then you could three bank the pup. Yeah, and then have it be a part of the fight, maybe. Otherwise, I'm not sure what you. Oh, I mean, I guess you could. And let's take a little joyride around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come back in another direction. I mean, it depends on how Brian's feeling. Does because if you go if you go to the outside, if you go to the outside, you have this possibility of just getting nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If if the the Arc 170, I'm I'm thinking is going to hit on the gas, want to have range to boss, and if you're trying to turn away to come back around, you just gave up something for nothing so I, I i think if i'm the boss player i think i turn in it's inevitable you're gonna go down next turn yeah I'll try to get, uh, a, get shot. a shot get a shot do something hey, maybe the debris won't kill you you know what i mean it is uh i mean the, the gas cloud doesn't do damage oh well i mean you're gonna hit with a hard three no you won't you won't hit it uh, you got it man. you got it 100 percent. i trust you the lower <laughs> All day. The low, the low side is my side. Okay. I got it. Okay. It's, you got it. Yeah. The pers perspective Hold, to me is so off. Like, is this is this a is this range two, Dion? Uh, a little bit bigger than range two. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Oh, it's true. He could just hard two if he wanted to. No, it's true that you are not getting you not getting you're an action get, anyway. Yeah, you're getting yeah. stressed regardless. Yeah, I can't shoot off debris now either. Well, as we were saying, the pup, though, too. Yeah. You could potentially get damaged and release the pup. All right, here's that ARC-170. Banking over. Interesting. Well, it's the same thing. Setting up the 4K. That's smart. Think two turns ahead, mm -hmm. guys. Really. <laughs> if you only think one turn ahead, you could get yourself into some trouble. <laughs> oh. And here he goes, going for the barrel roll. I like this move. Oh, like, all right. I like this move. Lining up that. So the uh, center. The yeah, bat, you the got there. You go. To the center. It looks so goofy every time. Yep. Take a look at my how to barrel roll quick tips. <laughs> I would suggest that if you ever get confused on those medium based barrel rolls, it looks weird. Barrel roll <laughs> is dependent on. On the relationship of the ends of the template to the hash mark. <laughs> I love this. If you think one turn ahead, you could boost Vader so you can't 4K the following time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Ooh. Stop. Let the pass die. <laughs> All righty. Uh, we got contraband. Ooh, that's a good call. Contraband, contraband, contraband. contraband. Um, Bank, That's right. Bank, we still have uh, Tell's contraband here. In the sloop. Beautiful. Probably slapped on a target lock, I guess. Oh yeah. He's, he's a target locking kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I know that. That's your preferred offensive mod, isn't it, Will? For me, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I feel better knowing that I can modify all my dice. Mm -hmm. Right. No matter what their a, a result is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you gonna block Bosk onto the cloud? Onto the cloud, yeah, I think so. This is gonna be tricky. This matters. Doing, big, doing the best railroad tracking they can. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Put that, put that oh, on the oh, list. Oh, there's a of, snow cone. Snow cone's coming out. Put that on the list of uh, in person training videos. Right there. That's tight. D will call it. It's not touching. There's still a slight gap. Yeah, there's still a little gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. You can <laughs> get off the th that was a gap. Ooh. So as a reminder, 
for those just tuning in. So he, with the, he does roll the hit, so he's going to get the ion, but again, it doesn't doesn't matter. Sure. So I, I also know with the new Minus obstacles, three. you can overlap, or when you overlap them, you can still do your perform action step. If you... No, I think I just said that. If your ending position overlaps, you are not allowed to do an action or you, attack. Right. If you if you go through an obstacle, then if, you can still action and shoot. Yeah. And uh, specifically on these gas clouds, you're going to remove all lock tokens assigned to you, the locks you have and locks on your ship, and then you're going to gain a strain token. And on that dice roll, we just saw. If it's a hit, it's a single ion, and on a crit, it gains three. So with large bases requiring three, that single ion means about nothing. All right, here's a two bank from Fenral. That's a bump. Ooh. It's going to be a little bit of a weird turn. Fenral's not... I, I, I think the only one shooting is going to be Tell and the orange... Arc 170. Oh, no. You got, you got Obi-Wan. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. Obi's got, Obi's got a shot. Sorry about Obi-Wan. Sorry about that. I know. He needs to get into this fight. He is a big part of this list. Uh, but Jeff's been doing a good job. Keeps keeping him in the back, keeping the attention on the arcs, trying to get that Obi-Wan into the end game. Can I tell you a random thing? What's up? I don't like the abbreviation GAR for the Republic. <laughs> Agreed. GAR. All right. Oh. That's going to be three shields ripped off of Tell right away. Mm -hmm. Obi-Wan doing some work. We'll see if Tell can, uh, can strike back. Take a swim in the, in the, uh, the back to tank, <laughs> Tell. Target locked. Just do it again. Do it again. There That's it better. Is. Hit crit. Both of those are going through. Yep, That's going into the orange one, and that is a crit. And our crit is a f weapons failure. Not what you want to see. Mm -mm. It's a single die rear arc attack. No bueno. I wonder if we can shoot Bosk at the front then. One hit. Easy evades. And that, that was that was the attempt uh, firing at uh, at Bosk at range three. No 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 that was that was this one. Now we're looking. Oh, okay here we go. Here's that yeah. weapons failure. So this is gonna be two on two. Uh, two on one. Go the, the strain. Oh, oh, he got the hit crit. Guaranteed dead. There it is. So we're oh. gonna see dead man switch trigger here. Uh, the pup's gonna do emergency deployment. So it's gonna take a, a shield and then come out of the uh, Bosk. Unfortunately, Boss didn't get into range three of Tell to get the cutthroat trigger to work. You can mm -hmm. either clear the stress or get back contraband cybernetics. Oh, there, there's quickly. a Z95. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So, so wiggly. It's got so much wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure everything's Oops. okay on the home front. I got like a hundred. Yeah. Messages. So this would be purple. Purple, that's first shield off of, oh, I guess it's red. We're calling it red. Uh, that was first edition, you received a face-up damage card. In second edition, it's a critical damage, so it can take your shields. Had some people come and install a new dishwasher. Our dishwasher broke. Mm. Yep. And of course, the only day they were available, when I was not home. 
But it's it's G it's Mrs. GSP approved now. Hey yo. Uh Dark We asked about Marcel's record. Uh he uh, was at one loss heading into the final round yesterday, but mm -hmm. played against Duncan Howard in a close matchup that unfortunately Marcel could not pull off. So Duncan I, moved I, on. I can't say that Duncan has his number, but what I can say is that I think Marcel has beat him once, mm -hmm. and, and Duncan has beat him five times. Dang. Something like that. It's a little slighted. I beat, I beat Duncan once in the tournament uh, when it mattered in the cut, uh, but I don't think I've beat him since in all of our like pickup games or whatever. Yeah. So I'll take my early win on him. <laughs> <laughs> Did Marcel lose to a lat? I don't think no, so. No, I don't think he played a lat. Honestly, I haven't seen any lats out there. Nobody believes. Saw... Nobody believes in the Seven Fleet Gunner. I saw one or two. We do have Republic. Oh, uh, I see a Republic wiring on the top table. That's probably broadside. I mean, who else would it be? Goji? <laughs> Goji? No, he's been nerfed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, R2-D2 with Ayla Sakura. One of my favorite little support pieces. Hey, R2-D2 is good. Man, do you remember when Goji came out and we did that like battle tower thing? <laughs> it was awesome. We figured out how to get like a bunch of proxy mines all to get stacked up on top of each other. Yeah, in one spot. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. <laughs> oh, I remember Will, Will sent me this diagram. He's like, "Do this, <laughs> it'll work." <laughs> <laughs> Just like this. Well, yeah, because it's system phase now. It'd be a little bit trickier. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're like, "No, that's too much fun." <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have Jedi rolling like seven or eight <laughs> defense dice. Fine. I guess. <laughs> uh, yes, so Felsrath, I'll pull up the, the pup one more time here. Uh, so that pup does have all of Boss regular abilities, his initiative. Uh, and the name as well. I don't know what that would matter, but uh, I guess that because it's unique to, to activate Cutthroat, I guess, but that's who you are. You are Bosk. You are not actually the pup. The pup is the ship. Contingency plan. I love that subtitle. <laughs> All right, we go. here's the hard two. Going over there, Wiggle Waggle looking at some ARC 170s. Scooping up a target lock. And Tell facing that same way. Did we get the damage for the uh, the dead man switch? I, I, I played. Got it. it. Okay. You see a damage on red there. The red arc. Mm -hmm. In addition to the, the single shield for the emergency deployment as well. And here's Obi Wan Kenobi, who's going to end up bumping into Tell. Yeah, should still have arc on the pup. Mm-hmm. So this, this is going to be a three-on-two shot. And the Nash top pup, a.k.a. Bosk, does not have any defensive token. He's going full offense. All right, wants to get that crit. And remember, it is initiative four. You know what? We can actually put that on there. Let's go ahead. Click, 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 click. Oh, that's true. Good job. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. So what did Finn Round do here? Did he do the Talon roll? No. He hard twoed, and now he's going to try to barrel roll in. Yeah. Get that Squeeze shot. The gap. Not only does he arc dodge, uh, the arc one seventy. Lines up a beautiful a bullseye, shot. bullseye. That's that's he should have a focus, Predator, right? Yeah, it's Predator focus. Yes, no. Obi done, Kenobi. Oh, <laughs> yikes! We'll see what we end up getting here. Five dice coming in here, range one. Fen Rao 
And that's looking pretty solid. Single blank. He got it. Another set of five. Oh, Obi Wan's gasping the force here. Uh, yep, after drop, a single squiggle, drop all shields and loses points. So that's going to be well, half points. Three. Now you don't you don't want anything to do with that crit. No. Can't take that risk. Uh, typo asking which judge is wearing a suit. That's of course, of course, Diun, our marshal for this event. It's looking good. Looking classy as ever. Came to came dressed to succeed. All right, here we go. I believe we got Jeff coming up. This is going into the pup. Yep, going to spend uh, either both force here. Yep. Three hits from... Oh, Natty's takes a single, and that's half points on the pup. Three. But that's three. Three, <laughs> three that's points. That's three points. Yikes. <laughs> that pup's about to get some value. It's going to try at yeah. least. Oh, yeah. And get some back. Ooh, Single get crit. Natural crit. Natural crit That's with the target smart. lock. Oh. Double focuses. He's looking for a blank. Oh. Split it. That's Bosk. Uh, there's a bunch of tokens on that. There yeah. it is. It's going yeah. through. I'm the Bosk now. Yeah. I, he just brought that. That uh, <laughs> the weapons failure orange. Yep. And now tell tell is going to go and try to finish it off of course, now. Of course. Yeah. Man, Linda Mood bringing the heat here. Finn Rao, I think, Dude. saving the day for Skelm. Looking for two hits. <laughs> Got it. Guaranteed. Get out of here. Spend for fun. Got him. Orange uh, goes down. One, 122, 103. Uh, Brian Linda Mood, he rolls like a bowler. Like this, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gets a little curve good on it. <laughs> That bounced it off the corners. All right, that's two arcs down. Two arcs down. The red 104th Battalion pilot is pretty healthy. He's only lost a single shield from the Dead Man switch when Bosk and the YV666 got taken down. Now we got Teltravera with seven health and an extra life out there. Fenral at health points, going to be hunting down Obi Wan Kenobi. And the Nash top up, just sitting pretty. Doing what do, it can, dude. Doing, doing what it can. Do you think it's going to end up facing that uh, like that hard, red arc 170 in the yeah, bottom? Yeah, hard turner, one bank, just grab a lock. Maybe, maybe you do want to get into range one. Oh, side. side pocket crit. Is that like a like a billiards uh, reference? Ooh, fancy billiards. We call it pool. <laughs> I know. I was I was gonna call it pool as well, but I I thought I'd class it up. Nice. You're all right, man. You can take a walk or anything. Yeah, my my back is is giving me some issues right now. Take a walk, man. If 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 you're not comfortable sitting. I need somebody. I, I've got to start shipping my chair with me, apparently. <laughs> That's wow. uh, not the worst thing I've heard. <laughs> like, they make those little walkers they could sit on. You know what I mean? They got the pull down <laughs> chair. Wow. Area. Wow. You know? If I had if I had my headset working, I'd be able to sit all the way back and be okay. That's all right. It's all right. You can trade headsets, man. Nope, nope. It's, it's going to change the the feel. The the sound is different. Uh, so right. leave, leave the production. Right. It's 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 okay. We'll be we'll be fine. Okay. There it is. I'll lay on the floor for a little bit later. Let the back rest. It'll be fine. There you go, Brian. Just punch the arc 170. Get out of my way. That's good. It's just <laughs> a tiny, tiny bump. Oh, he's going for the arc dodge. Whoop! Scroot, scroot! <laughs> Range one. Look at me. I'm a Z95. I, I have never seen the Nash Top Pup do anything <laughs> worthwhile. Anything. <laughs> this is history in the making, folks. What? There's an upgrade on it, too. All right. I know. He spent points on the pup. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> And and yeah, that'll be a that'll be a stressful stressful barrel roll. Just 
to walk in. Red barrel roll on the Z95. Red barrel roll. There it is. <laughs> Alright, I think what we figured out is we gotta get better walkie talkies. It's so staticky over there. Yeah. It's like it's like ten feet. Yeah. Alright. They were on sale when I bought them. That's I mean like five years ago. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, let's so, see. Obi-Wan, I do not like this position. Fan roll. Fan roll. Fan roll. Nom, 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 nom. Anything but that, Obi-Wan. Ever, ever no. seen that uh, Saturday Night Live sketch where the guy's like licking his lips in the theater? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This, is, this is that moment right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another bullseye predator. Obi-Wan, <laughs> what are you doing? Got exactly what Fan Rao wants. Hey, let's just do it again. <laughs> this seems less than I Again my Ball god <laughs> Let's go All paint Goodbye uh, Folks this is what we call a murder <laughs> Put him in the coffin Alright Obi-Wan goes down right there mm, uh, It's going to be a tough time now For this remaining clone unfortunately oh, My goodness the arc 170 yeah. you know so this was, this what was, game what was that maneuver a 5k yeah i don't understand why not the hard one here and this is two looking at that arc 170 takes two more shields are down save the focus for the offense seeing if the arc can punch through Got one hit. And spends it for two. Looking at that arc. Got to squiggle, but that's going to be the first damage into the hole. Range one. Arc 170 looking for a big swing. There we go. Two hits. Spend for three. Got a single squiggle there. So that's going to end up being two more damage into Tell. Getting it ever closer. It's a little ticking time bomb. And we're looking for win-loss ratios. Both of these players were X and 1. This is an elimination sure. game that's going true. into this one. Yep. Yep, uh, as a reminder, this is a graduated cut, so all X and 1s for today will make it into uh, what is essentially a top 32 bracket for the next day. 21. Uh, I think they said uh, about 13 from yesterday progressed on. We're expecting a little bit more, closer to uh, 15 or 16 progressing on today, so should equal about... Uh, 32 for the uh, cut. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially less because, like I said, it's it's not going to be a perfect uh, system. Uh, which is, uh, you know what? I never did ask how they did the tiebreaker um. for uh, for the buys. So assume that. Okay, so let's say that there's five people oh, who went be undefeated because but there's four buys. I think they're still tracking the score. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Let me. We gotta ask. We gotta. Me, we gotta ask, ask Ryan. Ryan. That's a good question, actually. Some people saying it's strength of schedule. We'll find out. All right. Looks like. Tell well is doing that K turn. We got Fenral just hitting the gas, giving a little bit of space here, clearing the stress, and that'll be a focus boost. So 
So that'll be range three, possibly obstructed, maybe not. And here's Tell going for that range two shot, potentially. Yep, range two. Okay. So because and whiff oh. there. A whiff. Yep. And here comes the Arc 170, not obstructed. By the way, as we're waiting for the finale of this game, I want to remind you that this round brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code LVO22 for 22% off. We can get Jeff to upgrade that, uh, that cardboard range ruler to acrylic with that coupon code, I think. Spend for two. Got, got the focus there. So, uh, just as Funwalk uh, has said in our chat, because there is no tracking in MLB, mm -hmm. the tiebreakers for undefeated, right? Obviously, it started on undefeated and worked out. Right. Will be strength of schedule. So, if you've beat out other five and ones, you're more likely to get the first round by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am uh, glad. I think, uh, unfortunately, uh, MLB is like miscalculated a lot. Yeah. Um, if you're not using uh, like a software to do it, unfortunately, you can get miscalculated. It's just, it's just kind of tedious as well, right? Can be. <laughs> now, you know, you, this is super random. One thing that I realized we have not asked the developers about them updating the rules. I wonder if they're going to update the tiebreaker. I don't know how they could. Final salvo is that what yeah, you're talking about? Yeah, talking about final salvo. Maybe, I mean, the it question... should just be a road rule. In fact, that's my opinion a long time ago was that first player should win the tiebreaker automatically to okay. punish uh, people with bids or encourage you to bid for first player. Got it. Um, but I can see just a road roll. Mm -hmm. A right? road roll. Road roll. Yeah. All I right. feel like that would be... I don't like how... Coin the flip. Tie yeah, the, I don't like how the tiebreaker is weighted. Mm -hmm. That you could wait your list for a tiebreaker. I'd never set right with me. Yeah, and I mean, with the, with objectives, it might be harder to get ties. That's Potentially, or maybe it's easier. I don't know, easier, harder to get ties. Probably the same. Probably the same. Like it, honestly. Yeah, be, ugh, I don't know. No, I think it'd be more common. Like those zero zero matches, but both people have forty points and objectives mm. or something like that. Right. Ooh, well there you go. Most objective points wins. Most the objective tie. points. Okay. That's the tiebreaker because they said that even in deathmatch there's an objective in the center of the there board. There is. So yeah, I feel like that could be an easy tiebreaker as well to really incentivize those objectives. All right. And there's a boost. Oh, they were talking about uh, potentially doing modified wins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Some some weird things, I guess. Not One weird. hit, double focus. Tell does end up doing a damage. Slowly chipping away. Yeah, Sark's got to find a solution here. Could try to cut off Bosk, but Fenral has no desire to play yeah, whatsoever. It's, it's not, like I'm no not, thanks. No so, thanks, fam. I'm good. Let me know in 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm just over here popping off three pocket poc style things in a row. When is the next two early uh, points for the next wave? Oh. Mm. You want us to guess points for the upcoming yeah. stuff? Oh, for the next wave? Uh, we could do it. I guess. We I normally, have to sit we down. We normally just guess points when they are when we talk about them, or at least the, like ballpark. Yeah. It. Compare it to other things of similar cost. 
<laughs> Finn Rao can play when he can initiative kill the arc. That's, That's right. That's actually a valid strategy. There we go. We'll see. Uh, we'll see Fen do a big, big turn here. He's not stressed right now, so a two or a three. What's been our favorite stream game so far? This is the beginning of this one has been a lot of fun. I think today every game today has had uh, has had something really neat. Happen. We we're setting up another target lock. I did like the Kaz versus Defender back and forth. That was very yeah, that exciting exchange. to watch. The fact that the Nashta pup is out here doing something. The pup something. is very exciting to see as well. So hard to say. This this might be it. Just that pup flying around. Boss, uh, with those dead man switches still on the board. And there's the boost. And Brian double crits. Spending the lock. Didn't get it there. But you got two, so you're guaranteed a critical damage. A single critical damage. What do we get, Will? Loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Ooh, if Boss can put in just a single crit here. Just wrap this game up. There's Dead. one. Boom. Spend hit is it crit. Range three? Yeah, I think it is range three. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Oh, double spend. It. Boom. Spend focus. Yeah, he's he's gone. I know no, he no, found the one. He's down to one. Down to one. And then the loose stabilizer says you gotta go forward and boss <laughs> the Z95 is gonna finish. Finish him. Yeah. I, I hit the line. I can't draw it, but goes one forward basically. Uh, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Not a great position to be in, but that's okay. I, th I mean, Finn Rao, uh, after, whoa, uh, after that can, uh, I would say, I'll describe it as confusing stress position uh, early in the game, really had made a name for himself afterwards. I do like this uh, this archetype though, uh, the Tell Boss Finn. Wish there was a little bit more support, but it it basically forces you to do you want to chase Finn yep. and let these two chunky ships uh, get in better shooting positions. Okay, yeah, who who are you going to ignore? Yeah. All right, you want to shoot a reinforced boss? Okay, none of the choices are good. You know, our boy Isofane is undefeated. Of course he's he is. Four, four, no, he's guaranteed in the cut. Of course he is. He's so good. He's been playing these uh, those seppies for a long time now. Mm -hmm. I forget exactly. He's been bouncing between some configurations. You actually get a lot of play with his list as far as what uh, what upgrades. You know, you take an independent, what relay. Do, do you need Seer? Right. Um, which is funny because he was bouncing between... Eight ship vulture swarm and double pancake. <laughs> that's 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 completely <laughs> opposite <Yes>. spots. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You gotta all learn. Right. You gotta learn all the styles of X wing and to be good at it. All three of those remaining ships tracking down that scared, lonely clone trooper. Here, did Fen get? Don't tell me he got range one again. No, 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 no. No, only three dice. Target right lock there. guaranteed. There it is. Handshake. Good job. All right, Brian Linda Mood winning the fourth round, and with that, he's trying to keep his hopes alive for getting in the cut. He's got to win one more. One more. Moving on to three and one, going into our last round of the Las Vegas Fly Better Open. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow. Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron, out.